What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up everyone? We are on our way to Target right now. I wanted to go check out their Christmas decorations because why not? I can never have too many Christmas decorations to be honest. No, you really can. Nope. You really can. <laughs> you can have too many. You cannot. So we're gonna go just see. I told him that if I don't absolutely love it, that just see. that I won't be buying it. I have to be in love with it. But the problem is is we're kind of in this transition phase where I got a brand new tree last year and I'm figuring out the color ornaments that I want to do. I I want to do black, silver, and green. I love that look. But yeah, I like that style. Tanner, on the other hand, loves the traditional red and green look. What was the first thing you think of when you see red and green? Well, Christmas. Christmas. I see exactly. what you're saying. That's I see what you're saying. Point. I'm a hater. But that's not true though, because last year I kind of caved and said, okay, we can introduce more red. So we actually do have like Tanner's mother gifted us for Christmas last year like these beautiful red lanterns from Pier 1 and um, like a cool tray that has that red truck with like the Christmas trees in the back. So there are like a little bit of reds now. See, that's what I mean. So I might end up just doing red and green. And this is actually something I'm very interested in. I am obsessed with fake trees. I love them. I think there's no way, oh, no other way to go but to have a fake tree. You put it away, you have a beautiful tree next year. Tanner, on the other hand, that's un-American. That's completely un-American. <laughs> Tanner, that's, on the other hand, why says... Why are we sourcing this out to China right now? We should be... We have great trees. Maybe not here in Tucson. Okay, this is why I support the fake tree here in Tucson. But there's nothing like an like a original tree. It's only good for Christmas time, just like Christmas time. That smell of the pine that fills the house. It's natural. It's... I don't... So, obviously, Tanner is team real tree, <laughs> and I am team fake AF tree. I love them. The one we got this year, you guys will see when I film our Decorate With Me. I am obsessed with it. It's my dream Christmas hold tree. Hold on. I want to I wanna hold a vote, basically, in the comment section here <laughs> on which... Are you team real tree, or are you team fake tree? Okay? So, tell fake me what tree. your family is. No, team real tree, because that's the only way to go. Real trees. See, and, tree I will, and I will say this is I used to always tell Tanner that the reason why is because they shed and I can't stand it because our dogs love to put their noses and like smell the like and back. They smell better too. And, it's a win win. <laughs> and so they get the pines everywhere. It's all sappy and then you have to remember to water it. And I kill any plant. Like I do not have a green thumb. I don't even have. You literally just pour water on it once a day. That's it. And that's, that's why too it has much. A that's too much work. And I don't remember it. This is a very tough, sensitive subject in our house <laughs> clearly <laughs> but yeah Tanner always grew up with a real tree I guess did you yes. always have a real tree there's some years that we tried the fake tree but you know what it just wasn't the same and that's what I'm trying to communicate here that's these Kansas City folks I don't know <laughs> <Kansas City. laughs> oh alright guys we'll vote because I'm genuinely curious I have my stuff from Target we lucked out because this was like one of the last of red and green and Tanner wins so he officially gets a red and green tree this year so we got these some smaller ones some bigger ones because our tree is bigger so I wanted to get a lot of the bigger ones we got a wooden star topper and then we got this tree skirt I think it's called buffalo check but I love the look of it so I'm glad I got it and then we got this garland I'm gonna put this above the kitchen cabinets because it's not very festive in the kitchen yet so I wanted to spruce it up a little bit and then all this is about $100 so What's up everyone? We have officially started the process of getting the Christmas stuff down. What started as just us getting Christmas stuff has turned into like a little mini organization project because we haven't been able to walk into this closet since like last Christmas when we put it back. <laughs> so <laughs> this is where it's stored. Just so you guys can get a little idea of what Tanner has to go through. <laughs> He has to go through this tiny little <laughs> square. It's the worst layout ever. And Tanner has some broad shoulders, so. So what he's gonna do is drop it down through the top and I have to catch everything down here. So, wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Drinking some, um, what is it called? Cold brew, pumpkin, pumpkin cream. cream. Cold brew. I you always ordered it like four I've times. Ordered it, <laughs> I've literally ordered it so many times, but I never remember the name of it. Do you need help? I'm just trying to. 
Here, I can give you my shoulder. <laughs> now step this on my shoulder. So dumb. We need a ladder. We're not adulting yet. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, babe, are you okay? Good job, babe. getting all the things down from the attic. We kind of freaked out for a second because we forgot we put the tree in our dog's room's closet. Oh, it's focusing on you. Okay. Um, so luckily that's not, I don't have to actually carry that down. Mm -hmm. Trooper, you're like a little ninja <laughs> that got into the attic. But that was hard work, so I think we deserve a little... Beer? Bubbly. Oh, some champagne. 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 To get into the festive you know what? I didn't appreciate a basement that living in Missouri where they had basements all my life until yeah. I moved to Arizona and they don't have basements here. But we're going to get this decorating started since we got it all down from the attic and we're going to make it all Christmassy in here. I'm super excited. But first, champagne. All right, guys, I'm about to start decorating, but I just wanted to show you real quick before I put everything up. I got these from the Target haul. Y'all saw that. I'm pretty excited. And then I had this from the last year. I got that at TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. And then I have all these little goodies. Of course, I didn't label anything, so each box is going to be a little surprise of what, <laughs> what is inside of it. But I'm excited. And because I'm going to be listening to Christmas music, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube and all the copyright. So I'm going to just speed on through this, grab the camera when I want to explain something a little bit more. What's up guys? So I'm sorry, I ran out of memory on my last card. Luckily I only got the tree done so we haven't missed all the decorating. But this is the tree so far. I gotta say, even though I was totally against red and green, I'm loving the way the ornaments look. And this is the aftermath that's like all glitter and the fake snow. It's all over me, all over the dogs. It's just a glitter bomb that went off in the house. But yeah. Stay tuned, because now you're going to see me decorate the rest of the house.
not judge the kitchen living room area too harshly I'm not done yet but our friends are on their way because we are watching the Chiefs game tonight so this is as best I can do with like how long did you say I was doing this for like, like eight hours not eight hours like three <laughs> but I will show you guys what I have so far What's up everyone? I just wanted to jump on with some voiceover with current b-roll because as I was editing I realized I did not have any updated videos. So fun fact, the pillows you're seeing now my mother-in-law got me and I absolutely love them. It was my first red edition. The other pillows that you're seeing I got on Amazon. They're actually pillow covers and I love them. They're a cute little farmhouse edition and the tray is just another great way to add the red. So the reason I have my beautiful glass Ray Dunn ornaments in my lantern is because I have three crazy dogs that run around the house looking like this. I just couldn't risk putting my glass ornaments on the tree and if something happened to them where they broke and fell, my just heart couldn't handle anything happening to my Ray Dunn ornaments. As I said previously in the video, my old colors were gold, silver, and white, so you're seeing a little of that poke through still. I'm still in the transition phase, but I wanted something around the TV because this is where our family spends a lot of our time. And honestly, why there's, an, <laughs> why there's a random ornament is because Oakley literally picked it off the tree and I... Just, I thought it was funny and I couldn't put it back on. So, yeah. <laughs> the next B-roll you're going to see is our beautiful Christmas tree. And thanks to my new hubby, he got the B-roll for this. Way too short because the tree itself is 9 feet tall. So, to get the star in there was a challenge for me. I have to say, guys, I am so excited with how the red and green turned out. I have pops of, like, gold and a little bit of silver in there, but it's predominantly red and green. And Tanner was right. It's 100% Christmassy. It just feels like Christmas. So he won this battle, but eventually I will get a red, not a red, <laughs> a black, green, and silver tree. <laughs> but enjoy the rest of the B-roll. And I'm sorry for my nasally voice. I'm kind of under the weather, but... Enjoy the rest of the Christmas music. Bye, guys.